Hello, in this video I'm going to give you an introduction to using the MATLAB editor. So we begin by first of all looking at the environment of MATLAB, so effectively the graphical user interface. We'll then move on to undertake some basic calculations, first of all by using the workspace and then we'll move on, on to using the editor. And finally we'll go through some ba basic um, graph plotting. So MATLAB editor has lots of benefits when you're undertaking kind of advanced or lengthy calculations and um, simulations. So now you just save the file and at a later date to come back and to continue working on that file. So I'd advise that whenever you do undertake anything lengthy, always use um, MATLAB editor. Once you've opened up MATLAB, this is what you'll expect to see. So you've got the command window, the current folder and the workspace. You'll become familiar with using these. So we just start with the command window. We're just going to do a simple calculation. So A is equal to 1, enter. B is equal to 2, enter. C is equal to A multiplied by B. Okay, you don't need to put spaces between um, B equals and A equals. And you can see here I haven't put any spaces and it's perfectly fine. So you can see there, quick calculation, C is equal to 2, as you would expect. So what you'll notice is in the workspace is as you were writing in your variables, they were appearing in the workspace. So if I was to write another one, you can see they'll just continue as, as you populate them in here. Okay, that's that's using the command window for just a quick basic calculation. If you want to do some further scripting, what you need to start what you need to open up is the editor. So if I go new script, this will open up the editor. And this is what I'd advise you using all the time when you're doing lengthy calculations because it also enables you to save your folder which is the first thing I'm going to do save your file so if I go save save as what I'm doing is go to my desktop create a new folder and I'm just going to call this intro MATLAB and very very careful what you call your files in MATLAB I tend to just do word underscore word no spaces and no characters okay so that's the direction I'm going to work in so I'm double click in that and I'm just going to call rename my file. I'm just going to call it again intro MATLAB. Just be very careful with your file names in MATLAB. So click save. And then if we just redo the calculation that we just had, so A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to A um, star. So star is just means multiply um, B. So if I click now what I need to do, rather than clicking enter, because you know when, I'm, when I've been writing that and it's not doing anything now, what I have to do now click is run. And then you'll need to click change folder, because that's going to then move you then to your current folder. So that's the folder that I just created. So you can see there, James Pickering, desktop, intro MATLAB. So I'm working in now the correct folder. What you'll see is now that A, B and C that appear in the command window that you saw previously. Okay, so that's, that's all nice and good. It's all good. And you can see here in the workspace A, B, and C appear. However, what you will notice is that your previous variable from a previous simulation also appears there. So what we can do is we can add in these commands, CLC. And what that'll do is it'll clear the command window every time you click this run button. Okay, MATLAB reads top to bottom. So what it'll do, the first thing it'll do is clear command window and then it'll run your lines below. So then if I just put this percentage sign clear, what I can use this for is just for a comment. MATLAB won't read anything on, well, it doesn't read percentage signs and anything to the right of it. So if I do clear um, command window, and there's also another one I can use, um, which is called, well, it's actually clear rather than CLC, and that's for clear clearing the workspace. So if I run those now, what you'll notice is now D disappears from here and you won't see any previous history in the command window. Okay, so that's great. What you can also do is create sections. So I can do two percentage signs like that and then just call this, let's just call it basic calculation. Again, MATLAB won't read any of this and it won't read that. One thing you also notice is that A, B and C are all appear in the command window, which is something that you might not want. So what you can do is you can put a semicolon at the end of, say, for example, A, B, and C, and then you can just see your result for this calculation you've undertaken for C. So again, if I click Run, what we notice is now C is the only variable that's appearing, which is the product of A and B. 
So that's what that's what I wanted. And you can see in the workspace, all the variables are still appearing as you would expect. So basic calculation. So let's do another one. So let's just call this basic um, calculation two. And then let's just do x is equal to, and let's put some vectors in, one. Um, actually, we're not gonna do any calculation here. Let's, um, Okay, let's put some different numbers in. And again, if I put semicolon at the end, it'll stop it from appearing in the command window. So we could have done some calculations, but we're not going to. We're going to do, instead, we're going to do graphical output. So we're going to plot x against y. So the command we use for this is just plot. That's the command in MATLAB, because MATLAB probably started knows as a command-driven language. So using CLC, these are all commands that MATLAB recognizes. Plot is also a command that MATLAB recognizes. When you do use plot, it expects to see X against Y data. Hence here, X against Y. And then if I click, um, well, what I can do actually is I could run the section. So I could do run there and run here and then to run that section. And then you can see the X data plotted against the Y. What I might want to do is add some an X label, so X label, let's just call it, so X labels the command, use the little dash, time, let's put some uh, units in there, so seconds, close the brackets, and then Y label, let's just call it amplitude, okay, and this is always, the format of this is, is what you, you always do, so you always do X label, brackets, Y label, brackets, and then within the label, to apostrophes and then the name of what you want the X label and Y label to be called. So then if I click run, you'll see now your X axis has time and your Y axis has amplitude on the label. So thank you for listening. I hope this initial introduction into using MATLAB editor well, has, been, has been useful. Thank you.